Putting aside the notion as to whether or not it's better for progressives if President Obama wins or lose, so much of that may be moot because Mitt Romney continues to show just how bad of a candidate he is. Over the past three or four weeks, I think he's made uh, two or three visits to uh, swing states. And whenever this guy goes out and campaigns, he's like Rudy Giuliani, his poll numbers drop. And here is part of the reason. We don't know if it's policies because we don't know what it is. I mean, he hasn't even responded to um, the announcement that we're no longer going to be deporting, at least uh, in the next couple of years, kids who came here by no uh, volition, uh, no, uh, no decision of their own, but with their parents and have met a bunch of stringent re requirements that if all Americans had to meet, we'd have a much better country. He hasn't even responded to that because he's still sequestered somewhere in a hotel issuing press releases. They know when he campaigns, people don't like him. And certainly, this story of a visit to a Republican-owned restaurant in Iowa is not going to help him and I think it's just sort of symptomatic of the problem he has. He has a, he afflicted with a disease that could be best described as being a total, um, I don't know, a-hole. Here it is. Just like with Rick Perry, he made a point of stopping at the kitchen. Oh, I should stop. He oh, pause this for a second. Let's start it over. This is the owner of a restaurant in Iowa where Mitt Romney made a visit. Campaign visit started from the beginning. Just like with Rick Perry, he made a point of stopping at the kitchen before he ever went to the other side to address the public and the media to thank us and introduce himself to us. That's what I figure we would get here, you know, just kind of normal. This was all out like you would think Obama was here. Diane Bauer opened her cafe to Mitt Romney and his campaign for a small roundtable discussion Friday morning. But between Romney's staffers not letting her customers use the restroom to not even getting a chance to meet the candidate, she's not feeling very welcoming anymore. And it, it just leaves you a bad taste. You don't want to have them back. Staffers told her it was just a misunderstanding that she didn't get to meet Romney, but that's not all that has her peeved. Stuff got broke. My tablecloths for general, I said they just get ripped up, wadded up, thrown in the back room. The campaign did tell her they'd pay her back for any damages. In my dad's picture, uh, an emblem my dad gave me, it got broke. You know, those are things you can't really replace. Staffers found out she was upset after some reporters posted about it online. That's when she got a call from Romney himself. Well, he responded, well, I'm sorry that your tablecloths got ripped off, watered up, and thrown in the back room. And I took it as a mocking. We're the ones that are he's wanting to get the votes from. You think we would have been treated a little bit better? She says the whole experience left her wondering. With how he treated me, is that how he's going to treat others? You know, is he, if he gets in office, is he going to be that way to us little people? Yeah, well, I can tell you, the answer is probably yes. The unbelievable part of that, they wouldn't even let the, uh, any of the people there at the restaurant go to the bathroom. I guess presumably they just took all those people and strapped them to the roof of their car or their bus, drove them around a little bit and allowed them to relieve themselves on themselves. So Mitt Romney, again, hitting the campaign trail uh, and getting a net minus out of the experience.